A Framingham Middle School has launched a robotics program creating the next generation of STEM leaders. NBC 10's Latoya Edwards introduces us to the 6th through 8th graders and the robots they created to go head to head against 480 <laughs> other middle school teams in a global competition. Move over Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg. Meet the next generation of high level thinkers. If you have a goal in robotics, you can probably accomplish it. You just have to kind of work towards it. We get to learn like things like coding, designing, and the engineering process. So we need to... The Walsh Middle School robotics team in Framingham is putting the finishing touches on their entries in the VEX Robotics World Championship in Dallas, Texas. It's just such a blast to make it there. Uh, and being there is a transformative experience for our students because everything is like, you know, take a middle school scale and you magnify it like a thousand times. But these kids will be uh, paired up with teams that may at one point they be their opponents, another time their partners, and to play the game that's called over and under. Whether they win many awards or none at all, the experience will leave a lasting impact. You don't see a lot of females in participating in this type of stuff. People start to develop a thinking that it's only for men, boys. So it's actually really good for girls to participate in this stuff. They get a lot more from it. They develop so many skills, problem solving skills and the engineering and technical side uh, to be sure, but they also develop a lot of collaborative teamwork kind of experiencing. Because one had six and one. Do you guys know you're brilliant? No, thank you. I mean, really, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. It's because of him. Okay. It's all Aww. because of Mr. Schmidt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you're the best, Mr. Schmidt. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they are brilliant, and we wish them the best of luck. That was our Latoya Edwards reporting. Nearly all of those students are planning on becoming engineers, and this weekend they board a plane to Texas to compete against thousands of other students in a robotics world championship.